Hi friends. Today I will show you how to create an infinite scroll on React Native using Flatlist. Let's see the final product. So, let's create a new React Native project. Open the project with your favorite code editor. Open an Android emulator. Run the app on the Android emulator. Great job! Now, we can start coding. Open app.js file and remove all the code. Now create a boilerplate. Just follow me. This is the output. Now install Axios. To install Axios run npm install dash dash save Axios. Now import Axios on the app.js page. If you face any problem after importing Axios, just stop the project and run again. Alright, now go to randomuser.me. Click on documentation. Let's copy this URL. Paste the URL here, we will use it later. Create a function to get the users. We will put the response in the user state. So, let's create the user state using use state. The initial state will be an empty array. Now set the response in the user state. Alright, now we will use user effect to call the get users function. Put an empty array, so that get users function will be called only one time. Now we will display the users using Flatlist. Create a function which will create our item. Just follow me. Need to set key extractor props.
Great, now we will make some very simple UI designs. Hopefully, now it looks better, right? Now we will set the loader on the footer. Create a function which will return our loader component. Give some style to our loader. Now we need two props. Create a load more item function, which will be called when we reach at the bottom by scrolling. Here is the main part of the infinite scroll mechanism. Basically we will change our page number to the random user.me URL. So, let's create a current page state. Just increase the current page number by 1. Change with the dynamic page number. Now we need to put current page to our user effect depths. So that when we change the current page number, our get users function will be called again. Let's see every time we scroll down, we are getting new users. So, the last step is to add the new users to our existing users, right? Let's set our users using the spread operator.
Now we need to show the loader when API is called. So, create is loading state and set initial state to false. Now set the is loading to true when start calling API. Set is loading to false when we get the response. Now show the loader if is loading state is true. Great job! So, friends, if you have any question about infinite scroll, please make a comment and I will reply as soon as I can. And if you like this instruction, please subscribe to my channel and share the videos with your friends. See you next time!